tremendous loss. I mean, he's such an ambassador for the sport. I was privileged enough to spend some time with him around the world. We went to Dubai, we went to Havana, Cuba, um, and wherever he went, he drew a crowd. And such a gentleman took the time to say hello, pose for pictures, sign autographs. From a very, very young age, he, I think, realized his how special he was and what responsibilities came with that. Certainly, he's got, he got a lot of criticism over his life for some of the decisions he made. And we're not all, we're all human, we're not perfect. But it, you'd be hard-pressed to find someone that was an, a better ambassador globally for his sport. And he really, really... Um, accepted that role and carried it with relish. Uh, I, I think the most was just how gracious he was with people. I mean, it always had to be on. Like you could never, like, the, that moment that that person had with him, he treated with respect because they, he knows that they, they are going to remember that for the rest of their lives. And he didn't want that moment to be spoiled. So the amount of um, just determination to make every single engagement as good as he possibly could. I saw him in so many different environments where people were interrupting his eating meals and it, always gracious. Um, and it's, it, in a lot of ways, a very tough way to live. Like you never get a moment of peace and quiet. So I think being home in Brazil uh, on his property uh, was probably a sanctuary for him. But out and about in the world, it, it had to be a difficult life day in and day out. All right.